Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to this channel. Today's video is going to be on my fish tank setup. So I set up a fish tank for my plants to live in. Obviously there's no water and I filmed the whole process for you guys to see. So I thought it might be interesting. Well, hopefully. And if you would like a video on what's in the fish tank, because I didn't actually film that, then just give this video a like or let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do that for you as well. Let's get into this video and hopefully it's interesting for you guys and you enjoy it. Hi guys, today's video is a bit different to normal. I'm going to be setting up this fish tank here um, for my plants. So as you can see, we've already got a fish tank over here. This is my partner's fish tank. So it's very condensated at the moment, so it's a bit tough to tell. But what we've got is we've got a land area and it's got some ferns and grass and moss and things like that. And then we've got a water area as well. And he's created a little rock waterfall, which I've turned off because it's quite noisy. But yeah, so you can't really see it at the moment because it's so condensated. But we'll have a look in here. So there's some like ferns and bits and bobs and... Yeah, it's really cool. So that kind of inspired me to go, hey, you know what? I'm going to get my own fish tank. So that's what I've done. So I'm going to set it up today. So what I've done so far is I've got some polystyrene underneath it just to help like balance it out because it can just sink into the foam and reduce a bit of stress. Plus it also means that the, the two fish tanks are level with each other as my partner's one was already on polystyrene and then on top of the polystyrene I've got two heat mats I couldn't fit one there wasn't any big enough so I've got two and I had to create a little hole in the polystyrene here because the wires come out of the heat mat is quite bulky so otherwise there was going to be a big bump and this wasn't going to sit level at some point I need to pin these up somehow uh, so that we don't just have cords like hanging around the place but yeah so that's what I've done so far so the next step is to get some medium into there so yeah I think I'll do that now and then I have to set up the grow light okay so I've picked up some propagation sand so this is this here I was talking to a few people on Instagram who have fish tanks and asked what their preferred medium in there is and I had a few people say propagation sand so I got it from Bunnings this is what the packet looks like um, so yeah a lot of people said that they like to use it because it helps create some insulation between the roots and the heat pad as well as keeping the humidity up and a lady I was talking to at Bunnings said that it's less likely to um, cause root rot than pumice. I have never used it before so I have no idea but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some along the bottom and then I'm going to put a bag on top. from my 10 it's already wet I'm gonna open it and then I'm just gonna rinse out any extra moisture that I don't don't need from that and I'm gonna pop it in this bucket so I can easily put it into the tank also it's quite damp so I'm just gonna moisture that I don't need. So if you've seen my winter propagation video, I like to squeeze out as much of the water as I can, otherwise it can just be a bit too, too damp and that's not great for the roots. Um, 
here. You want them to be moist, but not like soaking, soaking wet either. Because that's when you get root rot, especially if there's not enough airflow either. Okay, now I've got my spag moss. So I'm going to start to just put it just a thin layer on top of the pumice. Um, like so. Cool, so here we go. I've now covered the sand with a sabag moss. So it's just a nice thin layer. So I'm ready to put plants in there, but first I need to set up my grow light. So we better do that. Okay, sorry about this awkward light. So I'm all the way up here on a ladder. So what I've got is I've got one of these. So I got this from the warehouse for $15. It's an E27. So I can plug my grow light into that. It just plugs into the wall. And it's got an on off switch so I can turn the grow light on and off. So I'm going to put the grow light into here. And then what I did was I bought this thing from an aquarium place. So you're supposed to be able to just suction this onto the tank and then put hang the light off of it. So yeah, it's a bit of an experiment. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so kind of set it up so it just looks like this. The only problem I have is that it said it came with a wire, which it doesn't, and this doesn't really, like these are supposed to close over and keep it secure, but it doesn't really do that, like this can just pop out, but I think it will be okay, so long as it's not moved around, and then it comes with the like little clips so that you can clip the wire to it. So then I'm thinking I'll stick it some, so it's kind of like this, and then hopefully... That should work. The only bummer is I wish it came out like a little bit further. Um, I'm not sure if I can. Oh, I can make it come out a little bit more. It's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so it would kind of look like this. I wish that this was like more pretty though, but I don't really know what to do. It's like I could put a shade over it maybe something like that and I could only find black or bronze of these so it would have been really cool if I could have found like a white one but I couldn't so that's a bit annoying but yeah anyway this has just got sticky stuff so I'm just supposed to sticky it there and then I just have to plug it in and then I will have a grow light exciting okay so I'm gonna stick it about here and then let it stick for a bit before I add the light just so that I'm not adding any extra weight to it and so that it will actually stick properly go and then if it's too high just realize I can also lower it as well so that's great too so I can have it at the height that I want okay so that's that so it's like that at the moment I just before tested out the grow light oh my gosh it is so bright it lights up my whole house pretty much it's crazy so anyway that's exciting so I'm just gonna let this sit for a bit before I bother adding the light Another thing that I'm doing is I've just sprayed, painted this lampshade as it was grey and I'm going to add that onto my grow light because it's quite bright and it looks funny having white and black so then this way it all looks the same colour. So I'll show you the finished result once this is dry. Ok 
Okay, so I've bought some of these and they're meant to be for organizing like cords and stuff. So I'm going to try use these to kind of do something with these cords so that they're not all in the way. So this is the before and then I'll show you the after. Okay, all done. It's not beautiful, but it's better than all these just dangling down here. So I've just got these little clips. I had to go get some bigger ones like that and then I've just hooked my set up there and hidden the rest of the cords behind my makeup so yeah that's it and then I've just got to add the little light shade to the lamp and then we're all done so that's what my lamp is looking like at the moment so I'm just gonna put the shade over it and yeah we'll see how it looks and there we go that's what it looks like with the shade all finished me setting up my fish tank hopefully that was interesting or enjoyable in some way if it was please give this video a like and if you're not already subscribed I'd love it if you could subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time bye